What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to bring you a quick one month update with uh, Pixel 5. So I've had this phone for about a month now and kind of wanted to give you a quick update on uh, just how it's going. And I do have Android 12 on it now. Uh, so I'll kind of give, go into a little bit of that also. This is going to be a short video, probably five or six minutes. So if you want to stick around and hear something short, that's that's uh, good good to go. So the actual build quality is still really nice, six inches around there. Uh, I tried to pull it up here on their website, but they don't sell it anymore. So I'll tell you why I think it is actually a good phone still right now. Uh, so it's not the fastest phone out there. I came from an iPhone 12, so it's definitely noticeably slower than that but I haven't found that I need it to be that snappy um, you know waiting two seconds for something to load or open up I find has been just enough for me to be okay with it uh, so I am happy about that uh, builds holding up great all day battery life I usually have between uh, 50 and 60 percent battery life at the end of the day I'm not a power user uh, I mainly do email, text, things like that, a little bit of very little Instagram, and a little bit of web browsing. Uh, and I'm always in Wi-Fi, generally, even at work, I'm usually connected to the Wi-Fi, so that does make a difference. Uh, and we do have 5G in our area, so most of all my area has 5G, uh, so we'll take that into account. Uh, fingerprint reader has been hit or miss. If your hands are sweaty, I have a bright light shining on me, so my hands are a little even if you get any type of moisture on there, it's it's not gonna un unlock at all. So that's one thing that I didn't notice that I would miss with Face ID, so I do kind of wish it had that back. Um, but it's it's what you get uh, for a, a mid-grade phone. Uh, screen's great, 1080p, OLED, AMOLED, I don't know which one it is, but uh, screen's great. Uh, 90 hertz refresh rate is a big improvement over 60. I assume 120 would be even better. Uh, but it has been a, a really nice display. Uh, the hole punch notch actually doesn't bother me as much as the regular notch on the iPhones. Uh, I think it's just because it's so small and up there in the corner. And when you're usually watching a video, it's usually like this. So you don't necessarily even notice it that much. Uh, so that's been a good feature. Uh, I like the form factor, the size. That's a, a subjective thing. Uh, wear on it has has been fine. I don't use a screen protector or a generally a case on it very often. I do have a case for times. I just bought a cheap $15 case, but uh, build quality has held up really well. Uh, the camera, it's it's fine. It's, it's a phone camera. It's not anything like a DSLR. I mean, if you get, you know, throw one of these on any camera or have any of the more modern full-frame full cameras, or even some of the older ones, uh, even a DSLR will destroy any phone camera out there, but it does fine, especially in good light. Uh, the video on this is awful. Androids from Pixel phones in general are not known to have good video, so the video is uh, pretty bad. Um, let's see what else. Great battery life. Uh, performance is good. Uh, it has, I believe, every 5G band, so if you're in a 5G area, a lot of these, some of these phones that are coming out now don't have all the 5G bands. I think the Pixel 6 is one that doesn't have every single 5G band, so pay attention to which one's in there and see if you have 5G in your area, because we pay for it and we have 5G in our house uh, when we're disconnected to Wi-Fi. Um, now, we'll touch a little about the OS. Well, let's get into more of the physical stuff. So the speakers on this aren't great. Uh, the iPhone 12s, I think, were a l probably 20-30% better, so the speakers, they work. Uh, I mean, that, we're saying it's not a flagship phone. Uh, they're good enough, but not quite as loud as the iPhone 12 or the iPhone 11, no, 10-something Max that I had before this. Um, USB-C charging is golden. I love that. Uh, it does also have wireless charging, so I have a wireless charging pad here uh, on my desk so I can charge it fairly easily. Um, software, Android 12. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of it so far. There's things I like. I like the material feel of it on where they're going with that, but uh, it's some of it just seems very unpolished. Uh, for example, notifications. So let's say you're doing this and you look for notifications up here at the top. Uh, when you scroll down like this, so when you you know swipe down and look at notifications, that's usually what comes up. It's just a blank screen. Like there's no 
you can't see any of your notifications so that's been a little uh, annoying uh, but the overall feel look of it uh, has been really good um, I enjoyed that and had a, had a had a good time with that uh, some of the apps still are kind of not on the same line as uh, the iPhone was um, just some of them like Apple Music which comes with our Verizon plan uh, isn't quite as snappy quite as good it does I seem to crash like once every three or four days it'll crash off to restart it uh, but overall the material UI it's 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 very good there's just a few little things that I think maybe make it look better but perform worse and not as easy or ergonomic to actually use an actual function with um, it has been a little worse on my battery life but maybe I have some animations on that I haven't turned off or I haven't played around with it with it there but it's definitely not revolutionary like I thought it was going to be it was a lot of design stuff a lot of stuff changed with that uh, then there's a bunch of themes if you use different wallpapers but I usually use our current whatever picture cute picture of our little one on there uh, most of the time um, so that's really it that's my one month update uh, you can get these dirt cheap right now 450 500 for mint condition like new uh, some of them are going towards 550, 600, depending on what accessories they come. But I've seen some that are in just good condition, sell for 400 dollars. This phone's a steal for 400 dollars if you can get one with a good battery in it, and 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 overall good, uh, you know, the screen's not cracked or anything like that. Um, so I think it's an excellent deal. The one negative, so I bought this phone new from Google. Uh, I like the peace of mind of having Apple Care. I know you can get that service through Google, but they uh, do it through a third party and from everything I've read that I break it you fix it thing is garbage like all of them in our area get horrible reviews there's horror stories all over through that that's generally what happens when you outsource uh, something like that so I do miss Apple Care because our love of birth 18 month old uh, they're 18 months old they get a hold of phones at time sometimes you have to use it to distract them especially when you're chasing around and they don't want to get dressed uh, this is a good distracting tool may not be the best out there for the mental health I don't know uh, when you're a parent things are a little different uh, so that kind of sucks uh, so I do wish that's one reason why I think I'm actually going to go back to an, an iPhone because we need a tablet right now or not that we need but it would make things more useful especially when we're traveling with our little one uh, he gets bored in the car fairly easily if we're not if we're going a couple hours away to family or on a trip or something like that it would be nice to have something like that and I like the idea of having I O or uh, iMessage on multiple devices especially throughout the house I don't have to just carry my phone around 24 7 if I'm down here have a tablet can see my messages if I need to do anything if that, that would be a nice feature uh, so that's it um, I'll keep an update if I keep this we'll see uh, the resale value is really dropped on them because the pixel 6 is out now so We'll see how that goes. Uh, so that's it. Comments, questions, leave them below. I will get back to you. Thanks for watching. Uh, that's it. Have a good rest of the day.